All right. So here's the original heatsink fan. It's rather large, really large. And what I did was it wouldn't fit in the case, basically. So I just grabbed another fan that I had lying around. Okay, it's an old heatsink fan. Um, essentially, I saw the connector that was attached to here. I just uh, resoldered. So it's a four wire, so you have to. Uh, the one's for the power, and the other for is the feedback, and then the the speed sensor. Uh, so anyway, that's it there, resoldered. And how I just put this on to protect the leads was hot glue um, to protect the ends from shorting. <clears throat> now this is the VCR front panel on off switch, a bunch of momentary switches for the play, re rewind, etc. And what I did was solder on some leads there. And this is one of the control panel switches, the on off control panel switch for um, the Dell computer. And so I just removed the momentary switch there and soldered the leads in there. Okay, so that's going to be my new on off connection. So this is the base of the VCR. Um, it's again quite modified. This used to be the front, and obviously, this is the back here. Uh, a lot of partitions and standoffs and things like that that I had to uh, cut out. That took a really long time, by the way. Um, so, there's a huge hole in the middle, but that's going to be covered. Uh, but that's where the motherboard will sit and the power supply. Okay, so here is the I.O. shield. Alright, so I cut that out of the uh, computer. Here's the motherboard and power supply side by side, like in the original PC. And so essentially this is the tray that it sits in inside the computer. So I'm going to use the tray that will sit inside the VCR. Okay, so I had to just basically cut sides down, cut the back down, cut the top off of here, and now it fits wonderfully. There it sits now in the tray, okay, and then the cover will go on top. Okay, I just wanted to show you some of the internals of the finished product. Uh, here's the hard drive back here. It's a 3.5 inch hard drive. It's only about 40 gigabytes that uh, came with the computer. Um, I made a cookie tin, just like in my Xbox uh, um, video, I made a cookie tin kind of holder. So it sits on the PS PSU. There's a bit of a gap um, so that there's some air circulation in there. Uh, and again, I've just bolted in there and epoxy it down. Uh, here's some control boards that I epoxied onto the PSU and again you're thinking oh my goodness he's gonna short it out but what I did was I used hot glue gun I made little tiny feet underneath each of the boards so that none of the solder points will touch the metal and I epoxied them down. Here is the AMD CPU heatsink fan and that sits on the stock um, heat sink and I just uh, all I did with that actually was like I showed you pre previously was rewire that and what I did was um, just clean off the heat sink clean off the uh, CPU and put some new arctic silver on their um, thermal, thermal compound alright so in the front here this is where the old LCD for the uh, um, VCR was and what I did was take that out I put in a new uh, LCD temperature gauge uh, and that's again where I put the temperature gauge was to uh, uh, keep track of the uh, CPU temperatures uh, I just wanted to see how hot this thing ran again because I removed the stock heat sink uh, heat sink fan and uh, just crazy glued a a heat sink fan on top of it so I just wanted to see if it was going to be effective and work. What I wanted to show you is just how the cover goes on. Just 
goes on exactly how it would in the old VCR. Slide it into place. Two screws, one here, one there, and it's on. And let's turn it on. So there is that temperature gauge that I said the LCD in the front. Well, it's uh, running at about 50 degrees Celsius typically, and that seems to be its uh, average running temperature now. Um, and that's after running, um, that's during running um, a lot of videos, so uh, YouTube videos, uh, movies, and that sort of thing on this. So I downloaded a couple things on this, um, and uh, it's playing them well. Uh, right now I'm just playing. I'm just going to tilt it up. Sorry about the noise there. Uh, oh my Xbox video and it plays it well it well, plays the audio video well when I go to full screen it uh, the audio and video disconnect but that's just the nature of this uh, type of computer and we'll just do a simultaneous on movie player I'm playing Zombieland awesome movie and we're rule number one cardio love that part that's one of the best <laughs> rules in zombie apocalypse type movies. Anyway, so it's working really well. It's a good movie. And oh god, that's gross. But anyway, this computer's doing well. I'm gonna put it um, up in the bedroom most likely. Um, add a wireless uh, network adapter onto it. Uh, so again, I can stream or I can uh, watch um, videos up there on uh, the computer. And uh, that's it. Any questions or comments, please add them. And I hope you enjoyed.